Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm here and I'm going to be doing um, how to make a DIY simple dimple. I know I just did a video on how to make a DIY poppet with googly eyes, but this is going to be different. So let's get over with the supplies you will need. So the first thing you're going to need is tape. So um, we don't have any clear tape, so this is the only kind of tape that I have that will work for this. So you're going to need tape. Um, you're going to need some construction paper. Um, depending on, since this is pattern tape, it doesn't matter what cover, what the, the tape goes over the construction paper. So since I'm using pattern tape, it doesn't matter um, what color the paper is. But if you're using clear tape, you want to choose a colored paper that you like. Or if you, just, you can just use white paper and use markers. So you're also going to need scissors. Um, you could have a keychain, which is optional. I'm probably going to add one. I like the fact that it has it because I can attach it to like a purse if I go somewhere. So yeah, you're going to need glue unless you have um, double side tape for when you're sticking. Con card stock, which is what I'm going to use this time instead of cardboard. You can still use cardboard um, and then just cover it with paper or whatever kind of paper you want because you could use card stock and cover it with or um, cardboard and cover it with construction paper. And markers are optional. So let's get to it. Okay, guys. So I am back and today... We are going to be, like I said, making a simple dimple. So, to uh, when we're going to start, I'm going to start by making tracing. Um, you want some kind of circle to trace. This is the size I'm going to use. It's just some washi tape. So, yeah, I'm going to trace that. And I'm going to trace um, two of them. Those are not, let me see, I want to see which way, which side makes a better circle. I think that side does. So I'm going to make a couple and I'm just going to trace a couple circles and whichever ones come out the best is the one that I will be using. So this one's good. This one's pretty good. Um, that one, no. This one, okay, so I'm going to use this one and this one. Those two seem to be the best, so I'm going to mark through the ones that I'm not going to use. So I'm going to use these two, this one, and this one. So now I'm just going to cut those out, and I'll see you once they're cut out. So, as you can see, I cut them out, and now what you're going to want to do is find the beginning of your tape. I'm going to cut that little piece of hair off. I don't know how that got that looks like doll hair probably from one of my dolls so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take a piece of tape make sure it's a good piece that one has a little hole in it right there but i'm just gonna do it like this so i can avoid the hole that's in it um, and you're gonna put it you don't want to put you're going to want to put your tape sticky side up so I'm going to cut right here because that's where the little hole is. Okay, so that is that. Now what you're going to want to do is take your circles of paper, put them on the tape like that, and then I'm going to take another piece of tape and it over the top so now your circles are covered in tape and you're going to want to cut them out like again okay so now that our circles are cut out what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your scissors and cut a little slit like that a little bigger. and then you're going to take it and go make it like you're going to overlap them to where it makes like a dome. And when you do that, you're going to want to take a piece of tape. Let me get one that doesn't have a piece of that on it. Okay. This tape is very sticky and hard to work with, so bear with me, guys. Okay. So you're going to want to overlap it like that. And then I'm going to do it on mine on the 
inside. Well, it's too hard to do it on the inside, so I'm going to do it right here. There you go. So you have your little poppet piece that you're going to pop. So now that I have that, I'm going to do that to the other piece. Okay, so now we have both of our pieces together, and what we're going to do, we're st I'm going to save this tape because this tape will, will be needed later. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my cardstock, and I'm probably going to double this, I'm not sure, and then I'm just going to put them there, and I'm going to like, I'm going to outline them. And pencil just like that and then what I'm gonna do is make my outline make my shape for my simple dimple this is a lot harder than it looks okay so I'm gonna make this a little straighter there that looks about that looks pretty good you make it. And I might not cut it out so thick, this thick. Um, I wish I could get both sides even. Okay, so I'm gonna mess with this and then once I get it set, I'm gonna cut it out and I'll see you then. Okay guys, so I'm back and I have cut out both pieces of paper for my simple dimple. So now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take your pieces and you're gonna wanna place them, which one? I had each one, okay, this one's for this hole. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your tape. Now, this is the reason, this is the way, this is when you really want to have clear tape. But I don't have clear tape. So, yeah, we're going to flip it over. I'm going to take a piece. Take a piece. And flip this over where this sits in there. And you're going to take your piece of tape right here. You're going to stick it to the edge of your poppet piece, and then I'm going to move it to where it's not covering the hole, and stick it down. So, now we're going to do that one more time, or a couple more times, so that you know that your the poppet piece is not going to go anywhere. So I'm probably going to do it like four times. Because I am a fidgeter and so I actually really like these. Um, I've never made this kind before so we'll see how it turns out. Um, so yeah, but I'm really excited. So now we've got one piece in there. So now let's put the other one. So we're going to do the same exact thing. This one looks like I might have cut the hole a little too big, which I measured it, but 
and that's okay. So, I'm gonna, this one's probably gonna need more tape than the other one, since, um, sorry about puppies there whining. See, I've taped it in two places. This one, I'm probably going to do it around the whole entire piece. The other one I couldn't really because of my keychain hole. So, I'm going to do, I don't want this to go anywhere. So, I'm going to cut this a little smaller. It's too big. So, Oh, I thought I was showing you. I'm sorry, guys, if you didn't see what I was doing. It's really hard to do it and look what I'm filming at the same time. So, now... One more time, and I probably will do a little piece there. And then that will probably be it. So... There it is. It is all taped up to where it can't go anywhere. And now we're going to use this piece and we're gonna tape it to the back. Um, I'm not gonna, or glue it to the back. I don't have, I would use, um, I would use tape, but I don't wanna waste that tape because I might make another one of these because this was so much easier than the other one. Um, I really do like the sound the other one makes, though, so I don't know what kind of sound this one makes. As I said, I've never made it before. So, it should be interesting to see. I think I'm going to put, I put some glue, but I might put some tape as well, just to make sure that it'll stay, because I really, really want it to stay together. So, let's see, might put this in the middle. Usually once I already put glue though, it doesn't stick. So, let's stick it. Here we go. And that is it. So, I'm going to let this dry. And then I'll be back. I'll probably erase all these little marks. I didn't, I forgot, that was, I put it on the wrong side. Because um, I was going to put that on the other side. But that's okay, we can always erase it, or I can decorate this with some marker, but I just made it worse. We'll see. I will fix that. I can either use, actually, I might make a border, like border the it with tape, or um, or I will use some marker. I might make a border with marker. So, this is what it's going to look like, and once it's dry, I will come back and show you what it turns out and sounds like. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, so my Simple Dimple has dried, and this is the finished product. I really like it a lot. Um, it's not as loud, so it's more, like, quiet, but I still really like it. So, I'm going to be quiet for a minute so you guys can hear it. So yeah, I hope you guys like it, and this is the finished product. I hope you liked it. I hope you guys will make it too, and I will be posting, just like with the other one, a picture of it on my community tab, and if you made it, comment down below and tell me. I'd love to know. Bye, guys!